Zimbabwe's military has placed President Robert Mugabe under house arrest in the capital Harare, South African President Jacob Zuma says. Mr Mugabe told Mr Zuma in a phone call that he was fine, the South African leader's office said. Troops are patrolling the capital, Harare, after they seized state TV and said they were targeting criminals. The move may be a bid to replace Mr Mugabe with his sack deputy, Emerson Ngagwa, BBC correspondents say. Mr Ngagwa's dismissal last week left Mr Mugabe's wife Grace as the president's likely successor. Heavy gun and artillery fire could be heard in northern parts of Harare early on Wednesday. Mr Mugabe, 93, has dominated the impoverished country's political scene since it gained independence from the UK in 1980. The UK Foreign Office advised Britons currently in Harare to remain safely at home or in their accommodation until the situation becomes clearer, while the US Embassy in Harare advised US citizens in Zimbabwe to shelter in place until further notice. China, Zimbabwe's biggest trading partner, says it is closely watching the situation and hopes that the relevant parties can properly handle their internal affairs. The firing heard during the early morning came from Harare's northern suburbs, where Mr Mugabe and a number of government officials live, the BBC's Shingai Nyoka reports from Harare. In a statement, Mr Zuma's office said, President Zuma spoke to President Robert Mugabe earlier today who indicated that he was confined to his home but said that he was fine. Special envoys from the Southern African Development Community will be sent to Zimbabwe, he added. A Zimbabwean army officer, Major General Saibu Sizomoyo, went on TV after the takeover to say Mr Mugabe and his family were safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him who are committing crimes. That are causing social and economic suffering in the country, Major Gen Moyo said, reading out a statement. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. Major Gen Moyo also called on the security services to cooperate for the good of the country and warned that any provocation would be met with an appropriate response. It is not clear who is leading the military action. Army Chief General Constantino Chiwenga, who visited China last week, said on Monday the army was prepared to act to end purges within the ruling ZANU PF party. By Andrew Harding BBC Southern Africa correspondent a quick show of military force, a few arrests. And then what? These are, of course, unpredictable times for Zimbabwe and yet there is a chance that the army's extraordinary overnight gamble will pay off, and that President Robert Mugabe, humiliated and powerless, will nonetheless be allowed to retire with at least the pretense of dignity. It is important to remember that Mr Mugabe is not being challenged by the Western governments he has warned against for decades, or by Zimbabwe's political opposition, or by a mass uprising against economic hardship. This is, fundamentally, an internal power struggle within ZANU-PF and whoever emerges victorious can expect a newly purged party to fall, obediently, into line. Mr Mugabe's mistake, at 93, was to assume he was still powerful enough to build a dynasty to back his wife, Grace, to succeed him. Instead, his once loyal deputy, Emerson Ngagwa, may be poised to take control. If so, many foreign governments are likely to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope he can rescue Zimbabwe from years of misrule. A government source told Reuters news agency that Finance Minister Ignatius Chombo was being held. He is a leading member of a ZANU PF faction led by Grace Mugabe, 52. Alex Magaza, former advisor to Zimbabwean opposition leader Morgan Tsvangirai, told the BBC, they have decided not to call it a coup because they know that a coup does not sell, it will be condemned. But as far as authority is concerned, it seems very clear that President Mugabe is now just a president in name and authority is now residing in the military. ZANU PF had accused Gen Chiwenga of treasonable conduct after he issued his warning that the army might intervene. Last month, Mrs. Mugabe accused allies of Mr. Ngagwa of planning a coup. 
the rivalry between Mrs. Mugabe and Mr. Ngagwa splits on UPF. Jen Chiwenga is a close ally of Mr. Ngagwa and both are veterans of the 1970s war which ended white minority rule. The leader of the war veterans, Chris Matsvangwa, welcomed the military move, telling Reuters, this is a correction of a state that was careening off the cliff. It's the end of a very painful and sad chapter in the history of a young nation, in which a dictator, as he became old, surrendered his court to a gang of thieves around his wife.